So we had our well drilled yesterday. If you're new here, I'm Megan and this is Bo and our daughter Beckett. <laughs> For 10 months now, we've been living on our land in northeastern Washington while building a shop house. We've had our struggles and we didn't pass inspection. And we've had our successes along the way. But each day we are closer to moving in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on this wild ride. Don't mind me <laughs> being out of breath. But our dog walks are looking a little different these days. <laughs> Gotta get on the old uh, snowshoes. <sighs> We've already gotten probably six inches of snow today. And, uh, makes the walking a little bit more tough. <laughs> How big do you think that is? Freaking heavy. With all the snowfall, um, we haven't uncleared the boat. I just finished clearing it off. There was probably 14, 16 inches on top of the boat. And I found this giant ice or puddle. Ice puddle here. This is crazy. Ah. <laughs> Don't ah. fall. <laughs> Oh, you're at the ground. Oh, it's like an iceberg. Oh, and somebody peed right here. One of the kitties. <laughs> Gross. Oh gosh. I hope that's not a frozen turd in there. Gross. Probably a branch or something. Wow. I can't believe how deep that was. Well, here's a testament to it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cover how, builder yeah, our in covers. Ogden, Utah. Holding up seriously well. Very I, mean, I bet that was 300 pounds of ice. Yeah. With the, like, there was easily 14 to 16 inches of snow that I already took off. It's Dang. probably ruined now, but. Well, it did it. It served its purpose. <laughs> I have these <laughs> other supports. We should probably put them under there. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to work on getting the rest of the electrical boxes put in. And then I have a few little things I need to do. I need to cut out the floor plates in the, um, the spare bathroom, guest bathroom. And I need to drill the holes in the concrete and nail, secure that in as well. So I'm gonna try to get those, at least those three things done. Before Bo's gone, if I'm or before Bo gets done with work, and if I'm really ambitious, maybe I'll start getting the electrical boxes done upstairs. So we're in a bit of a time crunch. Um, we're really hoping to start drywall like the first week of February, um, and so obviously, as you can see, we have a lot of work to do still. So I'm gonna try to just be as productive as, and helpful as I can. Obviously, I don't know nearly as much as he does about. Um, the plumbing and the electrical and all those things. But what I do know is how to nail electrical boxes to the wall and I have gotten quite great at framing so I can definitely finish that. So here goes nothing. Okay, so you can see me sitting here contemplating where I'm gonna nail this down. I was gonna do it there and here, but we have changed this area so many times. And to be honest, I can't remember where the floor tubing is for the heat, and I obviously can't hit that. I absolutely know that it has to be within this area because the shower goes here, so it was never done. And I know that for a fact. So to be safe, I'm just gonna anchor it back here and then I'll just be careful when, as I'm taking um, that floor plate out for the doorway right there because I really don't want to accidentally hit. Um, our floor is already currently turned on, so it's as, as I'm sitting on it, it's nice and warm. 
but um, the last thing I need to do is spread a leak. So I'm just gonna back it up and be safe. I'll just put two back here and call it good. Okay, that second hole also was just really terrifying. This one was normal, felt normal. This one, I hit down and went <clears throat> I was like, oh shit. <sighs> the floor tub is right there. So I'm just not under the concrete. <clears throat> no biggie. I didn't ruin anything. <laughs> Mess anything up, but obviously I don't need to stick nails there. Got my nails. We did figure out that when you're anchoring, anchoring these, it's easier to kind of go slow than it is to just beat them because they tend to go a little crooked when you do that. Awesome. I got all the living room electrical boxes hung. This is now anchored. Now I need to cut the floor plate. The other little thing that's kind of terrifying about cutting the um, floor plates off like that is the concrete is our finished floor. So if you hit it, <laughs> then it's messed up, it's scratched. Um, obviously it's not finished yet. We still have to um, seal it and whatnot, but uh, it's still, we're working on it. Uh, is I put a bunch of this stuff down to try to protect it, especially from the plumbing. In case you haven't seen Bo's plumbing mistake already. <laughs> but just trying to be as careful as possible. So that's one thing to think about if you're gonna keep concrete as your finished floors. And I remembered another job that I still have to do. I've gotta put some drywall backers on this little, um, oh sorry, you weren't even looking at me. This little room over here. So I'm gonna do that next. So the never ending debate about what this area was gonna be turned into, I'm not gonna quite tell you. You're just gonna to have to wait and see. But I need to anchor it to the ground. And as you can see, the toilet's right there. So I was thinking, oh gosh, well this was supposed to be a big giant closet. And so we weren't gonna put heat in there. And actually one of the footers runs right here. So there's like, I don't know, 18 inches of concrete right here somewhere in this general vicinity. I think it's right under this wall, but, um, so there was a big hole, and if you remember back to our video of when we got concrete in the floor or when we laid radiant heat, um, you can see where all those pipes were. But I was like, oh gosh, do I risk it, do I drill? But hey, big benefit of having your entire house built on YouTube is you can look on the video and say, hmm, oh look, there's no pipes there. <laughs> I can drill in and be just fine, so. That was a fun little benefit that I just learned. Plus I text Bo and said, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it to try to anchor this down? And he said, well, how much of the poop pipe is sticking out? And I was like, oh, seven inches. He was like, oh, you've got plenty of concrete there then. The nails only go down three inches. So, and there should be, in theory, um, like five inches, I think. But anyways, he said, we, you've got plenty of room. Go ahead and do it. And I said, and I'm going to say it here for everybody too. If I hit a pipe, blaming it on him. <laughs> I didn't film drilling it because I was that nervous. <laughs> no water is coming out of this hole. So we're good. Thank the Lord for having it all documented. <laughs> now I can stick my, I keep making a mess and then I clean and then I make another mess. I vacuumed this space like four times already today. Gotta go slow with these, like I said. And you wanna try to hit all of them at the exact same time because the second you start getting one more in there, they go wonky. Did you just come in the front door? You'll be happy to know there's no water spewing out of either hole. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't go slow. <laughs> Luckily they're already far enough in. Whoops. Come on, drill up. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, I mean, unless we you could, come from over there. Well, we could, uh... Can you, well, you could go through the floor. It's gonna be weird having our switches right there, isn't it? I think so, but... We could come around. Why can't you go over the glue lamp? And then what? Up and over and down. You can drill through these, go over it, and come down. 
It's a wall. Well, I mean, you put the wire in all the other walls. Uh, tell me what you're thinking. Can't you go like through here? Okay. And then just go over the glue lamp and back down. Over the glue lamp is on the face of the wall. Gotcha. Where the where the drywall will be. Gotcha. You might just have to have a wire chase. Oh, I just made myself really dizzy. I don't know what that means. Maybe it would be fine. Can you put them on that side? Oh, the door. The doors? Yeah. Behind the door? That would be good. You open the door and <laughs> turn the lights on. And that way we close the door. Well, I mean, there's really no other way to get them right there. Will it be weird? We could if we did a chase up there. Or can you get them from over here? We're going to have to get into this wall or something. Right. My thought was to come down that but they did say we could drill through that one does this this two by six right here oh uh, we'll have to drill is it that just to the, is yeah. it just a two by six mm -hmm. so can we pull that two by six down and you run your wire down the beam well we don't have to pull it down to do that we can drill a hole and fish it all the way down it's not like four two by fours uh, or two by sixes stacked see it right here. I mean, it looks like one but yeah it's only one Oh, yeah. So anyways, moving. Keep moving. Let's drill holes all the way down. And then we'll run that home run back. Pull that there. And you're going to pull that down over straight. And then up. Reverse, you'd come over the top of the box and, all, and then do your thumb trick, but you can't, so just kind of try to go next to that. There you go. Yeah, maybe like right here, because we're going to put a service loop in here still. What's a service loop? This thing. In case you get in trouble down the road, you can pull. It gives you more. Okay, now stuff this through this hole. It'll rope. There you go. I'll try to straighten out. Stuff there, that's plenty. So you have. To pull that much, right? Mm -hmm. Come back here. Put that loop in there. Right there. And then we staple there and there. Which these are the only, this is the only one that'll be here, so let's go ahead and staple that. And what I mean by that is you'll have another one coming out of this box mm -hmm. to feed that box. Right. So don't staple that until you have both. To make it look good, you'll come straight across, put another staple there. So, start there. This one. When you're pulling that, it's better to go like a slow pull than to yank on it so it unwinds like that because that's how it gets. Do they need a loop when you go back? Do they what? Do they need a loop on both ends? Yes, every connection needs a loop. One downfall of this beautiful setup is currently our freezer and our washer and dryer in the well house. So in order to get there, you can see, it's so hard to tell how deep this is. I need like a ruler, but 
That's how much I just shoveled out of there. I guess there's my boot. It's over the top of my muck boot. A little path out there. But it is a beautiful morning. It's supposed to snow all day. We're in a weather advisory. So I think it's just gonna keep dumping and dumping, but laundry's gotta get done. What? <laughs> Um, we have got most of the downstairs finished. We need to do the living room, dining room area. So this great room 